Yo, what's going on guys? This is your boy Grace. Let's bring you this video. Just kind of talk about the importance of LAN events, local area network, just going to events and just experiencing the game in a whole different way and just meeting a whole bunch of new people. So I want to apologize for not uploading yesterday. I've been getting really bad migraines like the past week and right now I sound sick as shit because I am. So I just want to apologize about that. But anyway, so you want to go to as many lands as you can now i've only been to two well two locals at least but i've been to four lands in total and at the two locals i've gone to i've gained over 200 followers just from going to those events right so i made a new twitter in about december like mid-december and i got to about 100 followers and then i went to uh etg i gained about 70 followers there and then 110J Rod gained about another 75 there. I've got a lot of followers just from going to these two events, right? And so that's another way to get your name out, meeting new people, getting new faces, just playing with new people, showing people like how good you are or whatever, just people seeing how you play, right? So people start to remember you and next time you go, they'll remember you again, right? So one of the people that I met at ETG, I ended up doing a 2v2 with and making it to semis at NJ Rod just from meeting them at ETG. Didn't play with them more than twice. And when I did play with them, we were playing fours and I was trying to anchor for them, which I can't do for my fucking life, right? So, so it was just... It's just crazy how you can go from just meeting somebody to making a five rounds into a tournament. Almost essentially your first ever time playing on LAN. And another thing about playing on LAN is, or just going to events in general, is getting to know what's different between the between the games and stuff. Like between online and on LAN. Just to know what to use, what to avoid, and what you'll get shit for using. And just stuff that you know you just learn along the way there's tons of things i've learned tons of spots tons of different kind of uh play styles that i've learned just from seeing how people play at lan and there was this one team right this one kid which they're actually playing with for torch right now and we ended up playing him first round of the 2v2 with uh josh or shocker we ended up going in, he drops like 60 every fucking map he played. Or this kid, he's got a really good shot. He's pretty good. I think he's like 17. And and we ended up playing them. And we beat him like 6-3 or something. We I don't want to say we shit on him, but we, you know, we gave him that light work. And they had been playing all day, and Josh and I hadn't been playing all day, right? So, it was just crazy to see how you can just meet new people. Plus, everybody that you play against will follow you. Everybody that you meet there, just talk to as many people. You just It's just a good time going to events as well. Now, another thing is just getting to know, kind of like building onto what I just said, but like getting to know what's good on land and what's better online, such as the Pharaoh, for example. The Pharaoh is really good online, especially with Rapid Fire. And if you use the Pharaoh on land without rapid fire, it's actually fucking terrible. And I haven't used it with rapid fire, but I heard it's actually horrible. Now, another thing is the... Fuck, what's... What's that one gun? Um, Not the XR2. Fuck, the HVK. That thing sucks on land so bad. Same with the Razorback and the... Fuck. It's not the VMP. There's one more, one more gun. I'm trying to think of it. It's it's either Southern AR. I can't remember the name of it, but it's actually fucking terrible on land. And oh, the ICR. That thing sucks on land, but it's good as shit online, right? So just knowing that everything is faster on land, and so the next time you go to an event, you just know more and more. So eventually, you'll start winning. So just knowing that everything I do is quicker on land now so the next time I go to land I'll know that I'll be prepared and know what to use what to avoid such as like the CUDA I didn't use that at ETG because we didn't have a chance right we go and we ban the VMP or the Vesper or whatever right so I have to use a CUDA the CUDA is actually fucking nice as shit right it is godlike on land it's probably it's arguably the best gun in the game especially on land right so it's just things 
changed so much going from LAN to online. You don't get bullshitted. You kill quicker, you aim in quicker, you run quicker. Everything is faster on LAN. And especially with the monitors, because one, I have really bad internet, and two, I have a seven, it's like a seven or an eight millisecond monitor, so just everything is actually garbage for me, and I just feel fucking slow and sluggish, but when I played on land, everything was just fast and crispy, and everything was just so much better, and that's why I, I like going to events, plus I get to meet a lot of new people, and like, say, so for example, uh, Spacely, Spacely was somebody that grew up in the NJROD ETG kind of local community, right? He wasn't known for playing good online, although he is now, but he was mainly known for going to NJROD, ETG, I just hit my mic, all those local events near New Jersey, right? And people started to know him because he was constantly always at these events, getting known, always playing at these events. And now look where he is. He's playing in the finals of the, essentially the first open event in the game. And, I mean, they kind of got crapped him, but... You know, the fact that they can make it to finals and they're doing a lot better online is just crazy to see how somebody's come from just playing with randoms at fucking locals and now look where he is, right? So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, at least learned one thing from this video. If you have any questions, constructive criticism, leave them in the comment section below or make sure to tweet at me, J underscore Grizzles. This is Boy Grizzles. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.